In this video I'm going to be covering a couple of the basics about how to copy overlays between scenes in Ecamm Live. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech, my name's Alec and uh, this video is uh, basically has come about because of a question that came up in uh, Office Hours, Doc Rock's Office Hours uh, last weekend and it was to do with uh, basically overlays and how you move them or copy them between uh, scenes and I realized that perhaps in a lot of my videos I haven't necessarily gone down into the sort of fine detail of these things so uh, it's just a little thing a little video short video this one about how to uh, copy overlays between scenes but hopefully it should all become uh, clear by the end of the video exactly what I'm talking about <laughs> so without further ado I'm going to go straight on into my demo mode uh, and what I've got here is I've got a series of scenes down the uh, uh, the left side and then I've also got my um, my overlays in this side here. So first of all, what I want to do is just talk about the overlays panel itself. So um, the we've got show in all scenes. So there's a heading there. And then there's a couple of other grade headings, uh, which is show in current scene and show in the background. Now, hopefully those should be fairly uh, self-explanatory. Uh, show in all scenes are basically overlays that when they're toggled on and off, and by the way, you can see the little uh, eye icons next to them and whether they are currently on or off. Uh, and if they are on, then you will see those in all scenes. Um, whereas the ones that say show in current scene are specific to that particular scene. Then you've got show in background, which will uh, appear in all scenes, but in the background and they'll be behind everything else. So that is basically the overlays panel itself. But the uh, specific question was about copying uh, overlays from one scene to another. Now, the scenes panel itself over on this side, this just contains all of the different named scenes that you have. So there is no overlays going to appear in here. This is literally just the name of all the different scenes. And I've got my uh, my main scene here. I've got another scene, which is my screen sharing. So this one, so you can see that I've got that screen sharing. I've got another one, which is screen sharing, but the other way around. I've got lots of other different uh, scenes that I've got set up. But what I've done now is I've created two blank scenes. So I've got this one, and then just to differentiate the two, I've created one with a completely different background. So there we go. Those are two scenes. Now, what you'll notice about both of those scenes is in these cases, there is nothing that is shown in the current scene. It's just purely the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a image to the uh, an image to the the, um, uh, the the scene. So you'll see if I drag this image in and drop it. Uh, there you go. And by the way, this is uh, something I'm currently doing for the month of September, the Great Cycle Challenge. There's a, a team of us and we're riding a thousand, a thousand miles, not all in one go, by the way, it's a team effort as well, uh, <laughs> a thousand miles to raise uh, money for kids cancer. So if you fancy checking that out and supporting it, then head to takeonetech.io slash ride uh, and show your support there because it would be much appreciated. It's for a great, uh, great cause. Uh, but now I've got an image that has been dropped into this scene. So uh, the image that's dropped into the scene as well has now appeared in this show in current scene. But what I want to show you as well is if I just uh, delete this out. So I'll come to this scene, I'll come down to the little trash there. I'll delete that out. Uh, and now if I go to the, uh, the scene itself, so this is just this new scene. If I were to lock that scene, uh, nothing can be added into it. So if I were to now drop an image onto this window here and just drop it like that, what you can see is this this is now appeared in the show in all scenes because you can't actually edit anything in the current scene. So that's just something to be aware of as well. If you have locked your scene, you won't be able to add any uh, overlays into that specific scene. Um, and if you unlock the scene, then the default behavior is that it's going to drop it into that scene. Now, if you want to, uh, you've dragged this in. Now, say I did want this to appear in all scenes. What you can also do is you can come down here and you can grab the overlay and then just move it up and you can see that it's reordering it. So I could move it right to the top and now this will appear in every scene. So no matter which scene I go to, uh, it's going to be there in this one. It's going to be there in this one and it's going to be there in this one. So that is now appearing in all scenes and just because I've uh, dragged it out. But if I go back to uh, that original one, 
we may not uh, may not want it to be in all scenes we may just want it to be in this scene alone so I can drag it back down and I can make sure it says show in current scene so now it is not going to be in all of these ones but what if you wanted to copy this over to another scene maybe you only want it in one more so let's say I come over to this one and I did want it in here one way that you can do that uh, and the easiest way you can do that is if you come over to the show in current scene uh, panel where the the uh, overlay is and by the way if I just come back to that other scene here you'll notice that there's nothing shown in current scene there at the moment okay so I'm going to come back to the original one and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that overlay from that uh, show in current scene window there or the section there rather of the window and I'm going to actually drag the overlay onto the scene that I want it to appear in so you can see that there's a little plus icon uh, toggled next to it uh, so that's showing that it's going to add it into that scene and when I let it go it hasn't actually moved physically into this panel however if I click on that particular scene like this we now do have that overlay is still there and if I come down to the bottom it's now showing in the current scene of that scene as well so that is really the extent of this little demo. It is to show how you can uh, move things around and move overlays around uh, between scenes and how you can structure them. And by the way, all of these scenes that I, uh, sorry, all of these overlays that I have, uh, you've got to think of them as a, a stack basically. And whatever is at the top of the pile will appear on the top of the, uh, the output. So uh, if, for example, I was to drag this and create another one, uh, let me just do this quickly so now we've got two of these uh, these images and say I wanted this one to be behind then all you need to do is just remember that as I say they are if I if I call this one let me just make this clear which one this one is uh, this one's currently the top and by the way you can just double click and rename them and this one's the bottom now if you want to swap them around then you simply just come down here and drag them and drag the one from below uh, to above and then that will flip the order so just think of this as I say like layers basically in graphics programs so whatever is further down the list will be further down in the stack and will be in that therefore behind uh, other things as well so as I say that is the extent of uh, what I wanted to show you today uh, but it has been a little segue into introducing this little uh, graphic so if you do want to support me and the uh, rest of the team then head over to uh, take one tech dot uh, io slash ride and that will take you to the actual uh, website and my my page on the uh, for the great cycle challenge where uh, I'd originally set myself the goal of 200 miles in the month um, but I'm already pretty much halfway there to be honest at day seven so I'm going to change that to uh, I think 500 or something like that but <laughs> anyway it's all for a good cause so I'd really appreciate if you uh, would head over there and uh, and show your support in the meantime, if you found this video useful, then don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and uh, I'll leave a link to some more Ecamm Live videos over on the right hand side if I press the right Stream Deck button, not my screen sharing button. <laughs> this is the one that I want. Uh, I'll leave a link to some more Ecamm Live videos over on the bottom right. So until the next video, have a wonderful day.